In the studio today, Anthony, Rich Voss and Patrice. Hello, John. I don't even know why we're inviting them, them, uh, inviting them into the studio. They forgot the tape. They, they, they uh, need nothing. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Man, this idiot, whoa. he's supposed to tell. He knows so, he's my mentor. First of all, you didn't tell I, me. You asked Patrice the other night to bring the tape. The I had tape. nothing to do with the tape. No, 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 no. no. I don't have you the didn't tape. Ask me to, oh, Jesus. It was he a asked, personal. Aunt, they didn't bring the tape. It's the retarded, first, defiant ones. It's, it's, <laughs> first of all. First of all, uh, stupid here was <laughs> supposed to bring a tape. He was late, okay, because, first of all, he made me wait, what, an hour and 15 minutes. You know, black people are never on time. Oh you were supposed God. to be, you know what? I swear to God, New Year's Eve, you guys saw it, January 3rd. First of all, oh. okay, that was it. Okay, click you on the You really suck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why are you going off? Why are you going off on January 3rd? I have nothing to do with it. You can't stop. Look at him. He's so dumb. He's scared to shut up. <laughs> Listen, I, you know what, Opie? I didn't think. I wasn't thinking about that. We were talking about the tape at the cellar, weren't we? I'm gonna, I want to know about the tape. The tape, Ed. What's the tape? Do you know what Patrice said to me as you're out in the hall? He said, look, if I don't bring the tape now, at least I have another shot listen, to get into listen the Listen to studio. what I said. Opie, he goes, say, say, listen to his, look at his stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> listen to what he said. What? Listen to what I said. Go ahead, say what I said. He said, oh, you know, I forgot to tell you, but at least I, I can get back in again. Do you, do, you, do you see this? Does anybody know the, the pantomimes that realize he's an idiot? He just... <laughs> he the came here to plug a dumb show <laughs> for Tuesday. This pantomimes. Is, this is, you know that he comes to plug. No, I, I barely plug. I'm your great, great grandmother. <laughs> What's that? You're here Slept to plug? with an eggplant, oh, and that's why you're dumb. <laughs> he's pantomimes. His great, great grandmother slept with a moor, and that's why he's oh, stupid. Yeah. And what's your claim to fame? You had a cousin on the Evolution of Man poster? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what if you Eddie? steal another Godfrey joke that again on Godfrey. air? That was mine. That was not Godfrey. It's not go oh, no. you know, oh, All I know is there was new. I was excited yeah, to hear a new was, one. Yeah, and it wasn't <laughs> his. <laughs> and it wasn't even his. I know. No, it was mine. Boss practices his improvisations. That's what he stinks. <laughs> what is this tape? It's the tape, man. What's the tape? R. Kelly. It went to what? You were telling me it went gold on it the went, street already. Went platinum, platinum already on the street. Really? Can't get it. The sex tape. Oh, my God. He's oh. got the tape. Tape. You got the tape? I got it. And so I ran into him at the comedy Give me a little dollar. description. What's the rundown on the tape? Well, I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why it's, it's, he's in trouble. You don't have the tape, do you? Uh, I, you never I, had the tape. I had the tape. Well, I'm <laughs> telling you. I, but listen. I don't, why is he I don't want to say I got it, got right. it just in case. I mean, uh, uh, my, uh, I, uh, I uh, saw uh, it. Uh, right. You saw it. I, went so, I don't got it. All right. right. I, I mean, I, <laughs> why don't you just give us that look. Do you have the tape? Oh no, he's in the say he's shaking oh, his head now. Okay, all right. What's on the tape? It's it's uh, his wife's messed up, man. I mean, he's doing he's dudes he's, he's messed with four girls on the tape. Now, yeah. The first two, you you kind of go oh, well. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll be in trouble too. Okay. You know what I mean? Because one girl's doing him uh, uh, going he's going nuts deep on him. Right. So on if she's young, mm -hmm. then the next one is like, oh man, he's getting off with this. But then the third one. Is the one he's in trouble. <laughs> uh -oh. he's it's in the R. Trouble, Kelly I'm sex tape. Yeah. Dude, so I the mean, first two you're like, eh. the first two are like, you know, troopers. You know what I mean? They're like, they, I don't know if they're young or not, but they are like, you know, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. It was like borderline. Yeah, you wouldn't. Then look the third at one's like Laura Ingalls comes in or something. Yeah. Or, the third one yeah. is like, yeah, no, no hair and. and oh Jesus! He's like, thanks, thank you, and thank you, daddy. Yeah. 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 She's like pebbles. <laughs> she, had, she had on G-string diapers. Oh. <laughs> Trouble. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you do with her? Oh, So that's why you didn't bring the tape in. Because of the third girl. Uh, 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 he told me about the tape, and I begged him to drive me around the city the other night. He took me to four different porno yeah. stops looking for it. Really? I can't Gold wait to on the street. It. Platinum well, on the street. If you try to download it on, on the internet, I found out that it's going to come up. Uh, you're downloading kitty. Oh, boy. Materials. 
But they and were then, selling it right on the streets of Manhattan. The streets. Got, no, that, got that R. Kelly. On this station's computers, it'll come up. Uh, you're downloading more <laughs> pity porn. <laughs> How? Yep. Really? Yeah. Doing the deed. She's peeing, he's peeing. Well, we can't say that on the air. We get we in trouble for that. Well, there's... Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, man. There's, yeah, there's uh, things going on with uh, discipline. Well, a little discipline. A little discipline. There's some of that uh, yellow some discipline going yeah, on. Right. Some yeah. Back and forth discipline. Keep Back and forth radio discipline. Radio vernacular. I don't get nobody. That's all right. We, young. We got so plenty of like delay. Old man discipline, you said. When you did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Couldn't squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Stop and you go, oh, and it starts again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tom, what's going on? Tom Kelly got kidney stones. Yo. <laughs> what's up, Tom? Hey, boss. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, no, boss, seriously. You what? called in last time from um, England, right? Yeah. You ripped. Yeah. You should you should have left the show. You should have never came back. You should have ended your career, ended it like that, because you stink. Okay, I stink. Okay. You came on the show and you started. You said first of all seven times in oh, seven yeah. different sentences. <laughs> and you know what? What's even said is you. Bye, boss. Though. You suck. All right. Talk to you later, Dad. <laughs> ah, that's good. Ah, uh, Mike, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on, fellas? We were just talking about that today. I work uptown and. uh... I was told you can get that from a couple of the vendors, you know, the guys with the bootleg tapes on 125th Street. So uh, I'm going to be taking a ride out tomorrow to see if I can pick up some uh, educational film. Oh, really? Well, and uh, if I do come across it, I will let you guys know. Well, Patricia has uh, seen the tape. Really? Yeah. And, well, he, and he has problems with uh, uh, things. I heard it's ridiculously obvious how, how young she is. From a couple of the guys that say they saw it. That it's it's like a uh, romper room goes, you know, to... to it's, oh, the late night TV. I can't not, believe she was nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. If there's no grass on the field, it makes for a better game. Well, um, sir, if you do get this, please don't even think of putting an extra copy in the mailbox for me. <laughs> I'll send it up there with some Aussie bootlegs for you there. Take a drink. <laughs> I'll bring it to Town Hall. Remember Town Hall. Why is he taping <laughs> this stuff? Sir. What? Who uh, is wrong people. on so many levels? But Take what? care, folks. You people in your video cameras, this is going to get you in trouble. People always uh, taping stuff. Stupid, no stupid people. You shouldn't tape things. No. Mm. Uh, Robert, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is uh, really sitting bull from uh, Mohegan Sun. Okay. I saw a boss on uh, Saturday night. I want to know what's up with that chick in the front row. Oh. He got so uh, flustered with her. No, it was Friday night, stupid. Uh, oh, yeah, it was yeah. Saturday morning. How's uh, that? Uh, well, Friday night, I was on stage. And I go to this lady. You know, I do that thing. I go, I got a car. She goes, I know, I've been in the back seat, and it threw me off. And all I know is she bothered me, and I lost $500 shooting craps because she was holding on to me and bothered me. That's what happened. That's why. Oh, so that was before the show. It's, it's just supposed to be a funny story, so I'm telling you what happened. Oh. She bothered me, no. I shot craps, I lost $500, and I was miserable. I heard And that. I was going to give you the 10. You were going to what? I was going to give you the 10 you were asking for. I was funny that night, wasn't I? Yeah, that was definitely a good running gag, man. Obviously, I don't listen to the show. You're not supposed to call in and say I'm funny, stupid. But yeah, well, that was the worst show I've ever been to. I want my money back. Thank you. Who put this guy through? Ooh, wow. <laughs> that was a little rough. I know. No, this lady was just following me around the casino, and I lost so much money. Yeah. Was she hot? All right. There's nothing there. Lee, what's up? I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you up. I know. I'm, I, I was trying, though. I gave it one more question, thinking maybe the story would turn no, nicely for everybody, but there was nothing. There. there was nothing on that one. <laughs> That's our job as radio hosts. We try to make, you know, yeah, not yeah, gold out of crap sometimes. I can tell you a great story about the hotel where, you know. Uh, uh, Lee, what's up? Hey, listen, just say no. For the girl from uh, Massachusetts, Stephanie? Yeah. There is a law in the book saying any sexual position besides missionary with man on top is illegal. Oh, uh, yeah? And it's a gun. In Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. It's the truth. It's back in the Jordan ages or something like that. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Doesn't matter. No. Kennedy okay. killed his. I, just was, I actually was wondering, you guys have Stephanie's phone number by any chance? Uh, no, she's got a website and you can just email her. Ah, I will do that. It's VA Vixen at AOL dot com. The the eyes are one though. VA Vixen. Excellent. All right. All right. Hey, you guys suck. Thanks, man. All right, Lee. Got to apologize to some of the cities, Opie. They're getting a crackly uh, show, and it's dropping out because Pete Johnson told me it's the the satellite. We're having a problem with the satellite. There's today? a problem. I'm getting the Pete Johnson space shuttle up. I'll grapple the satellite and repair it myself in low Earth orbit. With my chin dildo on. <laughs> He's the man. You want him on your side. So uh, if, you, if you're kind of hearing us in and out, that's the problem. It'll be like Space Cowboys, the movie with Clint Eastwood. 
Bunch of old bastards go up into space. <laughs> I'm the head engineer. <laughs> I'm bummed we don't have the tape, Anthony. Yeah, uh, well, now it kind of sounds a little, <clears throat> you know, sick to be looking at that, Patrice. It's newsworthy, though, Ant. Big well, story. Is that what it is? Yes. Oh, what? oh, he's dialing yeah, a phone number. Make a call. Let me make sure. <laughs> You're going to make a call? Yeah, let me make a call. I'm going to make a quick call. What uh, what uh, race, creed, and color are the uh, you want to use a girls involved? All black. All black uh, girls. All black. Well, the black girls mature quicker than the uh, white girls. Uh, I heard that's that study. So not the third one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I said. Like a fourteen-year-old black. Mature fast enough. A fourteen-year-old black girl is like an eight-year-old white girl because she's you know. What does that girl. mean? Well, what do you mean by that? Yeah, that's that's backwards. Mean, he said well, it before. Because no, a fourteen-year-old black girl probably already has like eight kids or whatever. <laughs> oh, you know? Jesus. So, they're used to what is wrong with you? No, that's well, Foss. Statistics. statistics. Hey, Will, Will, I want to. He's follow. quoting statistics I mean, now. Now, where do you, you get these statistics? Can you Robert? come in the city and uh, bring R. Kelly with you for the radio? <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? One hundred and two. Listen to one hundred and two point three seven. One hundred and two point seven. Bring. Could you bring the tape in 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 forty five minutes? Can you be at the radio station and bring the tape? They really need to see the tape. Or they're sending me and Voss out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guy's right, though. <laughs> uh, I can't say that. Listen, listen. Can He's, you bring it? Uh, he speaks the truth. Can you bring it? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he realized, like, uh oh. What's the, <laughs> I got it. What's the what's the, the uh, exact address? Uh, Rick, will, Rick will take care of it off off air. Okay, hold on. Rick. While he's, we figure that out, Ed, he's going to tell you. Rick, right get, get Colonel Milk Girl in here. And, and were we? Uh, she oh, she's <coughs> here. Did we curdle some more milk? Oh, we did. We got did it okay. curdle nicely? It smells awful. Yeah, bring it in. The new, oh, uh, the new batch of milk. Ooh, make sure we got a garbage. Curdle Milk uh, Girl has arrived. I think she's coming from Philly today. <coughs> did you guys uh, prepare this what an hour ago? All right, lift that up. Oh Oh God! Don't, 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 don't! Get it away from me! Wow! Get it away from me, uh, Patrice. Ugh. We got a girl coming in. She's gonna chug that. Take a look. What smells worse, that or behind Voss's ear? <laughs> She's gonna chug that to be in the 55 gallon drum channel. No, no, get, keep it away. Keep it away. Keep it away. Ugh. I shan't be participating in. Is it all set? He's on the phone. How many spots do you have left for that? Huh? Yeah. How many spots left? Uh, this will be the last girl to qualify. Yep. We're going to do it uh, Friday. Okay. The 55 cool. gallon jump challenge. We're waiting for an answer from Patrice's friend. Okay, there. if you can, you, you, you can. I think. It... Oh, I hear it. Uh, it's yeah. rush hour now. Yeah, did you hear it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's rush hour now. Yeah, but he's taking the subway, isn't he? All right. I mean, if you can, it's in the city, but if you can, you can. If you can't, then uh, I, I won't see them anymore. He's Haitian. Tell him to swim. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said you're Haitian. He said swim over here. All right. Why? Well, look. Bye. Tell him. Tell him we'll give him till five to seven. He's not. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He may not do. No. Well, look. Oh, Thank God we got Curl Milk Girl here to see. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thank God. Take care. <laughs> Come on, boss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to take a break and get the curdled milk girl? In yeah, it? I want to see what she's all about. All right, we'll do that next. OP Anthony 1027-WW. Yeah, you're checking out the OP and Anthony show for today in studio. Rich Boss with Patrice. Hello, what's up, y'all? And Patrice forgot the tape, but uh, we're looking at stills of the tape. We're looking at stills of uh, R. Kelly. On and, the uh, internet. The fun and hijinks he's having. He's taking a peek at the camera as he does what he has to do. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that he is face deep. Face deep. Salad tossing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a trooper. Oh, <laughs> is a trooper. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is it? Yeah. yeah. But see, hey, didn't I tell you, right? You see how that the couple of these stills build your evil up? You go, hey, what's wrong with what's it there? Well, they only showed the uh, two girls yeah. that look of age. They don't show the one that makes you want to go wash up. No, huh? And they don't say that the other one uh, was saved a two-mile walk home from school either. <laughs> it's very narrow-minded the way they're looking at this. <laughs> they cut out the part we burped her. That's the one they, they oh. edited. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, At least it's a new joke. <laughs> <laughs> that old gag. All right, well, Tracy's here, and she wants to drink the curdled milk. Yeah, and this has been, uh, what did we put, more lime juice in some milk and leave it out? Yeah, well, the uh, the milk we let uh, curdle all weekend long turned into cheese, a solid yeah. mass of uh, cheese. It that was our punishment. turned into cheese. We, we uh, left it out uh, for the whole weekend, and it turned to cheese on us. Mm-hmm. So we had to get a whole new uh, load of uh, curled milk going. Why black girl? Why? <laughs> because cheese. What's up, Tracy? Oh. Nothing much. What's up? You're from Hi. Philly? Um, south of Philly. South of Philly. Drove all the way here to uh, try to Don't qualify for girl. the 55-gallon <laughs> jump challenge. Patrice, you should have yeah. seen what we were doing to white girls yes. this past week. Please don't embarrass this black girl in front of me. Let me leave. Why, you, uh, Why Patrice, are you doing this? Hold on, Patrice. I got to let you know what we did to white girls the whole last week. Oh, we boy. threw them in dumpsters. We filled up super soakers with lamb blood yep. and unloaded on the, these uh, chicks. And what's your point? We all do that to white girls. This is a black <laughs> girl right here. Don't do we, this. We are so equal brothers? opportunity. Look at that. Uh, is, is, that oh, is that your husband and kid out there? Yeah. Oh, God, no. Is he white? Um, last time I checked. You yeah. have a white husband? Yeah, what's wrong with that, Patrice? Yeah, what's wrong, boss? Yeah, no, not really. Think about it, Patrice. The race is getting along here. All right, all right. All right? Let Nell Carter drink the goddamn... Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Give me a break. Wow. <laughs> is that oh, no. Talk to I'm me. only joking. Just no, I'm a bit bigger than most of the girls that come in here, but most of the... Not really. <laughs> no. We've seen a lot bigger. Actually <laughs> not. <laughs> actually not. You're just oh. fine. You're all right. You're right in that average uh, range. We'll show you big. You haven't been in any R. Kelly videos, have you? Uh, no. Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rick, do you have the video of us throwing the girl in the dumpster? That never made the air Friday, but uh, Steve from foundrymusic.com has it. <laughs> Got her down to her bra and panties, threw her in the dumpster. She started rolling around in the mess. We found a really messy dumpster. Yeah. This is and, the white uh, girl, you sure? Oh, yeah, from, right. from Cleveland. And she was uh, shaking like a leaf when she got out of the dumpster because she thought rats were in there. And there could have very well been uh, rats in there. Did you get the video, Steve? Yeah, it's all up now. It's all up on dot com. Yeah, we got people to, uh, are now going to think that you're talking about the R. Kelly video. No, 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 no. And no, they're no, pounding no, 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 the site. No, 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 never. The the video of the girl yes. in the dumpster with her brown pants. Yes, absolutely. the clips look good. Yeah, they were. Uh, we actually spent about 15 minutes priming her to think that there was a rat in the dumpster before we threw her in there. So when oh, we that's actually, good. Yeah, she was shaking. Yeah, she was she was freak when she finally got out. But she out. passed the audition. She's going to be in the fifth five gallon dumpster. Yeah. Jump Friday, uh, Patrice, we get to torture girls all day long. We take them, uh, we take the girls, we put them in 55 gallon drums, those big steel drums. And we bolt it shut. There's a few holes cut in there just so they can kind of breathe. More so, so we could throw disgusting, heinous stuff inside on top of them. You know what's fun about it? I know you look a little puzzled. What? Why is the R. Kelly tape so <laughs> This is fun stuff. The screams that you hear, the echoing screams coming out of these barrels, will make any serial killer a jump for joy. Yeah, most of the them sound. Uh, give up and they, uh, they, they get out of the barrel. Yeah, they go, oh, cool, the you guys want to be Oh, we do it right here. Right here. here. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Do you ever throw any, like, live stuff in? Or we we threw like in, uh, the last, last thing we threw in, last time we did this, which really separated the uh, girls from the, uh, what? Better girls from women. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hissing from <laughs> hissing Madagascar cockroaches, which are you know they're, they're huge. They're about three inches uh, long, two inches wide. They hiss. They go. Can you get the audio of the hissing cockroaches, Rick? Yeah, see if we get. You got to cue. You got to cue it up no, uh, to the, the actual hiss. The though. screams that came out of those barrels when we threw that in. They felt the legs on them and the hissing. <laughs> Like the R. Kelly, and we upped the ante this year. What was this for? You, what do they win? Well, this year it's for two thousand dollars. Two grand. Crazy. You know, cash. They just get a little nervous hearing us uh, describe oh. some of the stuff from the last How time we did this. much you her for drinking the, the milk? She just gets to qualify for her chance to win the two grand. Qualify? Yeah. Just she's gonna just qualify. Yeah. Tracy, you all right? Enjoy, and you're gonna do that. You're really dumb. Where's the Please? husband? She's from Philly. She's from Philly. Stupid Keith Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Keith from his dumb town. I want to see the husband. Bring the husband in for a second. Um, 
you see this guy. Guaranteed white trash. How much you bet? Oh, I, I guarantee. Oh, Patrice, I Patrice. guarantee. You're pissing off a sister. All black guys get like that. Right. We look and black, black, black chicks get like that. Chicks get like that. Black, trash. black yeah. chicks go crazy. That's why when she went when they see a black guy with a white chick. I know. Hey, what's up? He came in with his fist balled up with his awful beard and mustache. Like one of the Dudley he boys, I to, knew it. Uh, huh? I chose to be with my husband instead of somebody like him. Regular milk, sweetie, not curdled up milk. What? Uh, how long have you guys been together? Four years. Four years, and you're how old? Oh God! <laughs> how did that go? We don't talk Oh, really? Seriously? Exactly. I told you, white trash. I said, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? What, what, what did they do? Yeah, this is a story to be told. Get you that mic up. Yeah. Someone yeah. work that mic. Get that mic. Boss is just staring at the mic like, what does this do? Help us out, right? This is just a lesson in how doomed we are as a society, and I love, uh, all right, so you, I love getting this how'd out. How do you guys get together, first of all? Yeah. Uh, how tall are you, first of all? Uh, we need a visual. Six feet. That's it? You look taller than that. And, and what do you like? Five feet. Oh, you wow. sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're... He's a, he's a good foot uh, taller than you. Yeah. All right, so they can play long and hard. All right, how'd you meet, Tracy? Um, best friend. <laughs> she was dating his roommate. He was in the Army. and He's in the Army. Best friend, dating roommate. Okay. <laughs> best friend, she, black? Yeah. yeah. Roommate, white? Yes. Yes. Wow, how about that, huh? Mm-hmm. Starting and, to trend. Uh, Look at Patrice. is just all pissed Patrice, off. Patrice, I admire this guy. I, I, I oh, this. I'm going to be able to get the sisters when they're running off with the white guy. I don't really mind that. I just knew it was just an awful little white trash love story. Oh, <laughs> <knew> my <laughs> God. How can it be white trash? He's a black I girl. I knew it. Because his parents don't speak to him no more. By yeah. the way, uh, no, no, no. we don't really know this guy. So uh, yeah. whatever you want to do is quite fine with us. So that. what? The, what? So you guys? I'm telling you, every black guy has this attitude, but you know the first white they girl that don't. comes along and oh yeah, very true. Right? The prize. The first white girl that comes along, I stick them in a gallon drum and throw roaches on them. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what we the do. The prize. Yeah, he says that now. But. All right, so uh, the, the army thing was going on. Your okay. roommate. So you hook up. Mm-hmm. My best friend wanted me to get him out of the room so they could have some sex. Yeah. Nice. Room, so. yeah. And that was R. Kelly, I think. So, okay. <laughs> no? Okay. Just trying to work his name in every ten minutes. <laughs> All right. So, so you uh, leave with this guy so your roommate could have sex with his friend. And then what happened? We weren't. No, what actually happened is we all met up at a, we all met up at a gas station. Mm-hmm. And I come rolling up. My roommate didn't have a car. Her best friend didn't have a car. We uh-huh. come rolling up. Her car, my car. We come rolling up. I looked up. I got out of the car to go meet her. And she's like... I'm like, hey, I'm Keith. She's like, yeah, I'm Tracy. So I, I talked to my boy Jason. I, I said, Dan, I don't want to be here. I'm going to just drop you off and I'm going to roll. And she was like, I don't want to Oh, like, here. I really wanted to be there. Oh, really? So yeah. neither one of us wanted to meet each other at all. And how long did it take for you guys to have sex? <laughs> how long? After that uh, point. Until the teddy bear beer. What? What's that? We're in a, down, in a, <laughs> down in Georgia. You know, they so, sell beer in the grocery stores and we walk oh. to the grocery store one night this Joe really sounds how like Look how slavery got started <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and as, says, as the boat oh, came along teddy bear beer so, <laughs> she drank teddy bear beers and, and that was that all yeah right. Uh, all right so you guys time. hooked you up oh, no, no i would never no, I want to hear what happened with the parents, though. Oh, yeah, let's get to the parents. What happened That's with the parents now? Right away. You guys, uh, you, you fall in love eventually. Yeah, and so he's from Maryland. We come up to visit his parents, and I'm like eight months and pregnant. And you're like black. Eight months pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, now, did you're you, like black. Did your parents know she was a black girl? Yeah, they knew. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, um... Oh, so they were still yeah, happy we about dating. it, but they knew. They weren't right. happy so about it. So at this point, they were still having uh, a little bit of an open mind. Like, all right, well, let's uh, wait and see, right? Well, I think it was, was more like, we'll wait and see how mind. long this lasts. Oh, okay. Right. What happened when you told them? D. What, <laughs> what happened when you told your parents? No, she was eight months pregnant, so they didn't have to say uh, nothing. They just showed up. And, and no, I mean, there had to be that point, because if they already knew he was going out with a black girl, there had to be a point where you had to go, hey, it's like this. You know, she's a black chick. And what did they do? I just love hearing how Southern people react to this. Did they say, like, what's happening, or they didn't care? Well, there's really not much they could say. You know, I was yeah. in a different state, and they were up there, and it was, you know, they're going to deal with them on their own terms. Oh, well, not, that's okay. uh, fine and what? dandy. Why, 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 hello, Kizzy. I mean, uh... <laughs> oh, God. So, 
so did they say anything like we don't want to see you anymore if you're going to be with Tracy or what? No, it wasn't anything like that. It was pretty much um, after so much stuff. I said, look, um, don't call us and don't come around anymore. There wow. you go. Ah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here to stay. Can... There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Hold you on. ever have to drop anybody for using the dropping the M bomb there? Um. Like when you're just out without your wife and also, you know, you kind of look like you can put time. on some Doc Martens and stomp some black people. You kind of got that look about you. Doesn't look like a skinhead. <laughs> you look like a goddamn Doesn't skinhead. Doesn't look like a skinhead. It's my Roger. skinhead. <laughs> this is mine. Roger I really can't wait till this. It, it, it has to fail. You know <laughs> fire, right? Daddy, mommy, listen, I made a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so you ever get like some guy you work with or something go, God damn them nuggers. <laughs> or something you got to go, hey, dude. Dude. By, about my first, but one of my first two weeks at work, um, I was riding with a guy when I was in training. Yeah. And, um, he said something. He let the N word fly. Uh oh. And um, I said, pull the truck over. Oh Jesus. And he pulled the truck over. He said, what? I said, I, you ain't gonna say that. That I'm not gonna hear that anymore. Uh oh. And, you know, nobody at work knew. Right. You know, we weren't even we weren't married yet when I first moved. So up. the guy go, relax. God damn, why you show up tight? <laughs> no, you heard a lot where I, you heard a lot in the area where I work because being in such a remote county down in Maryland. Let's get a, a mic farms. up to his. Wow. Place, so um, were you, you racist be before there? you met your wife? <laughs> <laughs> now you be honest. Did you go nigger a lot before you met your wife and and that love story happened? Tell the truth. No. Was you and your friend going to build a cross on the way? I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody nigger sip? <laughs> sip. <laughs> sip. Everybody's nigger sip. I love, My wife. I love running into black guys like this. It's so funny because they all have the same reaction all the time. Why you gotta hate? Yeah, what's the matter with you, you Patrice? You, you see two hating? people in love. This is the ideal society here. People uh, uh, getting along, it doesn't matter. Color doesn't true. even true. matter. Hate is not the answer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And aren't we all united to hate the goddamn towel heads now anyway? Yes. That's right. That's right. Filthy, dirty Arabs. You know what? I apologize for all this. All right, Rob, what's well, up? He brought an Arab in here. <laughs> you know, a different story. Rob, what's up? Hey, guys. How you doing? I just thought it was funny that Patrice is making fun of this guy because he don't talk to his parents anymore, calling him poor white trash and stuff. When most of the black guys in the ghetto don't even know who their daddy is. It's who's your daddy, who's your daddy, who's your daddy. Ah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, and, and how and how do you really know who your daddy is? Cause your mama told you. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> All right, so Tracy's here, and she's gonna drink the curdled milk, Anthony, to get into yes. the uh, fifty-five gallon drum challenge. Can't wait. Have you seen the milk? No. You want to see it? Uh, not Rick? necessarily, but. <laughs> We better yeah. get a. We better get a. We, we listened about it when we were getting ready to go into the Lincoln Tunnel. Yeah. We, yeah. We, well, the, who, who said that I? They bet that I wouldn't show up. Well, because you blew us off Friday. That's all. Yeah. That's, so we were thinking you were going to blow us off today. I apologize. You're here. It's all cool now. It wasn't my fault. Our daughter had strep throat. Strep throat. All right. Mary. Uh, oh, Mary has brought in the oh, uh, turtle bell. Tracy, what do you think? Mm. Can I chase it with tequila? Do we tequila, have tequila? Huh? Let me go with caramel milk. We yes. don't have. I don't think we do. We, we can put it, some in the back. We can put a shot of tequila oh. in the milk. Oof. Oh. With the limes already in there. <laughs> Make a new drink. <laughs> <laughs> look at Stinky running down the hall. He's gonna look for us. Yeah, tequila for you. after to be. Ah. Uh, oh. I can't even imagine drinking that. No, no. But it will earn her a spot. That's how much? Uh, how much are you gonna drink there, Tracy? I need to drink this <coughs> Well, you need to do a little more than a few sips there. A couple chugs, nice. Right? A couple chugs in. Yeah. Hmm. Big gulp. Big gulpful. <laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah, a couple right. chugs. Can't watch this. I just can't. It's just milk. It's fine. Okay. Everybody laughs. We all Mary, is it all clumpy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not clumpy like the other one. It's not like cheese, but... Let me yeah. say... Oh, uh, man. I think it's adequate. Oh, boy. It's not completely crude and disgusting, but... Oh, it's starting to we have some. Well, this is curled yeah, milk. Is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's curled enough. Well, what the hell are you going to do about it? Uh, <clears throat> no, it won't curdle in the microwave. No, that makes it warm and delicious. <laughs> Look at the, it on yum, a yum. Look at the first one. Rick, no, Rick, that's, that is not doable. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> That, it turned into cheese over That's the weekend. That's bacteria. That, that looks like grits. Yeah, that one's That's bad. bacteria. Ah, uh, Stinky, you got the tequila? Yeah. Nah. You got rum and vodka. 
Some absolute and some rum. What do you think? You look absolute. like Cardi. <laughs> she looks like a rum girl. A little rum? Absolute. Absolute? absolute? All right. Oh. Can we put the absolute in the milk? Oh, wow. Sure, why not? She's oh, saying sure, why wow. not, Anthony? Wow. Uh -huh. Huh? Hey, sure, go ahead. Have fun with it. Yeah, you better get to the bucket, just in case. You never know. Bucket, I'm gonna throw up. You never know. All right, we got we're getting the waste basket. Uh, Mary's adding the uh, absolute to the curdled milk mm -hmm. for flavor. Mm. It's tasty too, just that's, like candy. That's a lot of vodka in there. All right, and then uh, Mary's filling up a separate cup with vodka for the chaser. So Tracy the Trace is him. holding his nose. Has a chaser. Tracy is preparing by drinking a nice, cold Sam Adams. <coughs> Please, come on, Rich. Right? You're not gonna, she's not going to puke. She's not even going to puke. This milk isn't even that old. <laughs> it's still cold. The milk is still cold. She's chugging it already. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. God, we didn't... Wow. I told you it wasn't bad. She's fine. She's oh. chugging. It has vodka and uh, all right. and lemon there and lime goes. in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's making some weird face. You all right, Trace? Uh-oh. Did you feel any chunks of it slide down? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It was chunky. That's when I had to stop <clears throat> when the chunks. Uh -oh. Did you drink wow. enough there, Rich? No. Yeah. Oh. No. No. yeah, you got one more in you. One more, uh, one more chug in you there, Tracy. Because the chunky stuff's got to go. This is for the 55-gallon drum challenge. You got to get the chunky stuff. That we will be doing Friday. Uh, you shouldn't have put the liquor in there. Why? I don't know. I just felt like saying something was dead air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing funny to contribute. You got to have a little dead air every so often. <laughs> and Tracy's going for chug Sometimes number two. Sometimes it's better. She's making some weird faces, but uh oh, that was I think I, I think oh, I think that one was oh god, nah, you're fine, swallow it, she's dry heaving, she got it, she swallowed it. Her eyes are watering a little bit, she's dry heaving. Tracy, all right? What do you think? Oh, what was the problem with that one? Yeah, it's getting chunky. It's getting chunky. Ah, chunky milk. Oh, ah. She has one more chug to go in. Well, we made a line on the cup. Two thirds of the way. One more. Two thirds of the way. You'll be fine. Yeah, oh. a good one. Yeah, it's only milk. It's been there for two hours. It yeah, it hasn't even been there that long. Yeah, it's just chunky. It's the yeah. milk is actually pretty fresh still. You can feel it sliding down like uh, oysters. Oh God! Uh -oh. oh yes, she's trying. No, she's again. fine. She's not gonna puke. Sw chew it up. Chew oh, the milk. God, she's <laughs> Oh, no. You okay? Yeah, she's okay. It's only milk. She's <laughs> drinking. Uh-oh. Here's the, uh, here's the... Did she get it, Rick? Uh, Rick, I think that's fine. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that's fine. That would have been perfect if she could have done that on her car window and then said, Could you take me home? <laughs> nice. <laughs> there it is. She is the uh, latest uh, and last contestant, right? Yeah, that's it. For the 55-gallon drum challenge, which we will have Friday. Friday. Yeah, Eric is saying that uh, all she did was uh, chug yogurt. Eric. Hey, guys. Hey. Listen, if you get spoiled milk, that's yogurt. You yeah. Know, it's got a lot yeah. of bacteria in it. I love that it, people know? say that. Yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah, it's just like popping open a Dannon's and digging in. It oh, is yogurt. Leave it for five more days. You'll have yogurt. Hey, asswipe. You know what happens? She drank it and puke. You eat yogurt, you don't puke. Tell me why. You do. No, you don't. Shut up. You don't know what you're do. talking about. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of anticlimactic. Why? It was, was, was kind of anticlimactic. What is yogurt made out of? But she, it's a, Spoiled milk. But you know what? I rest my case. Oh, jack Punching off. out, Maverick. Oh, uh, what a jack off. She was dry heaving and she puked a little bit. There was vodka and uh, lemon in there. And uh, the milk was a little too fresh because we couldn't use the, the one from uh, over the weekend. <sighs> it was definitely curdled and uh, chunky. Yeah. But not as good as it could have been. It, no, she, well, she woofed. But she woofed and uh, she's in. Yeah. All right? Yogurt. I don't know why people say that. Do you know it's a sour milk is nothing but yogurt? All right, chug it down out of your fridge. When you see bad milk, when milk is sour, drink it because it's just yogurt. I think they do something to yogurt to make it a little different than sour milk, you jackass. Let's go to Eric. Eric, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, what's going on? All the way from Columbus. What's going on? 
Uh, not a lot. I just wanted to call to explain that I am a 29-year-old white man who is engaged to a 31-year-old black woman. Mm -hmm. And Patrice, you are a racist scumbag. Wow. Uh, <coughs> you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> Patrice is a creep. Thanks, Norton. You rule. Yes. Hi, Thanks, Peter, pal. White trash. <laughs> What's that? Shut up. You stink. Oh, that's not even nice for such a funny guy. Oh, uh, well, oh well, that was that sarcasm? You and your black wife be sarcastic as you're role playing, slave master. <laughs> no, there's no slave master going on here. Hey, you guys, what's the manhood wrap your, is wrap threatened your whip by your white men. Man. Huh? <laughs> I think your manhood might be threatened by white men. Oh, stop is that everybody. why you're so trying hostile? to be psychological? <laughs> All right. I think that's what it is. I think. Oh, true. listen to this. Another guy like that. You know what that is? I don't to... sound like that, Patrice. Shut up. Why are you going to bring the slave? Hey, are you guys road tripping to Cleveland? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe, you are? On... Uh, maybe for Norton's show. We well, gotta, I hope we, so. Be, I got the first. I got one of the first tickets. Yeah, we got to work. Uh, oh, thank you, sir. We got to work that out, but I think we're going to make, uh, make it up there. All right? You guys friggin' rule. All right. Thank you God. He fades in and out of cracker. You hear him? You got rule. <laughs> you hear him? You got rule. Oh, I don't Friggin' like rule. Ah, shut up. All right, Tracy, you're in. We'll see you Friday. Thank you. That wasn't that big of a deal, right? Oh. Huh? It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have a lot more fun Friday. That's nothing. Watch what happens Friday. Oh. Any final words for uh, Patrice? Get over it, dude. Uh, if it makes you feel better, Patrice, we'll put her in, um, we'll keep her out of the whites only barrels. <laughs> we'll have one. A black only barrel. Yeah, for her, and then all the rest will be whites oh, only. Jesus, you know she drinks curdled milk every day at a trailer home. <laughs> and <fill> um, <laughs> what do you do? That's why he kept saying, honey, it's um, all right. Comedian? You know you drink that all the time. Drink that curdled milk. <laughs> it's only yogurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that now. The little daughter's coming in. You know what happens when you mix the white people and the black people together? You get what they call supermodels. <laughs> right? You're doing a little investment there, aren't you? Which you know Patrice will never She's have. beautiful. She's, beautiful. She's, She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. little girl there. Look at that. No R. Kelly video jokes. Anybody. Just shut up. <laughs> I see you looking. All right, Justin, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, is Voss still there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Hey, boss, I was on your website. Is that really your apartment? Yeah, why? It stinks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you have pictures of your apartment on your Just website? Some stuff I feel on. What, yeah. What's the website? <laughs> the, it, uh, richvoss.com. Thank you. Uh, he built everything in his house. Everything it's awful. I mean, the, the furniture's older than his friggin' act. Yeah, it is. It's old. I like old stuff. What do you you shop at Ikea? I like old furniture. Like, Antiques you, you have a typewriter. You have a... I don't little TV a with huge rabbit ears and tennis. Stinks. Is that true? Oh, where really is it? Stinks. Oh, he's on a 12 floor walk up. Hey, boss, <laughs> where is it on your site? Under what? Under picks. Under picks? All right. Yeah, number okay. six. Um, number what? six. Page six. Page six is the apartment? Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! It looks like an old. It looks like an old fifties. Like my grandmother's house. There's a Victrola in that picture. It's awful. What it is like? Is that like old furniture? What's it, wrong with that? It, it, not look at that like pathetic antique. little wall like unit. <laughs> it's old because he found it in the garbage. Dude, look at the pathetic wall unit with that 1975 stereo system he's got and in there. And he does have it in Jersey, not Park Avenue. <laughs> he does have a TV with rabbit ears. This apartment looks like the, the apartment of your... He got up to go look at his own dirty, filthy yeah. apartment. Look at it. You sure that's mine? This is yours. The, this is the apartment that uh, that you find after, like, your great aunt dies, and you have to go in and clean, and clean up. Clean up the apartment. Yeah, I got cool old stuff, Art Deco stuff, some antiques. Dude, you got rabbit ears on your on I your TV. That's that that's from something else. Check out the that's typewriter. Something. I haven't seen a typewriter since like the eighties. No way, typewriter. there's a typewriter. There's no typewriter in there. Is there really a typewriter? There is. Well, I have a computer. I have a laptop. Check by, I think it's by the TV. There's a typewriter. Ah, uh, the site's getting jammed. Yeah, now it's oh. crashing. Damn. Oh, Look at us crashing All your those site. stupid pictures at eatabullet.com in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Unbelievable. Jim. All right. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Okay. There she goes, Tracy, our Lovely latest Tracy. contestant. We're going to see her Friday for the 55-gallon drum challenge up for grabs. $2,000 to the winner, Anthony. You don't like that uh, mixing of the races there, Patrice? <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> he, got, he got it with the hate Tracy. She turned around and looked right at me. Uh -huh. Hey, Norton. Yes, yes sir. Uh, when are you coming to Boston? 
Uh, April 5th, sir, I'm doing the Avalon Ballroom. All right, man, you rule. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I don't mind when a, a white guy goes out with a black chick. That, that doesn't bother me as much as when a black guy goes out with a white chick, right? What is your problem? <laughs> and I'm really tired. I'm racist. I'm really tired of his Christopher Reeve hairdo too. He really stinks. Who me? He can't see it. He got a curl in the front like he's Superman. He really. <laughs> you are an awful Superman. Jew representative. First of all, first of all, Sue Cooley, you're wearing a microphone, okay? Like, oh, hot. What, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is? What's going on? Oh. You, just, you never do. You stink. <laughs> no, Anthony asked if he was upset about black and white people. Going so you, out, you so like said, more of the separate, uh, so you like everything, everything keeping separate? You know, uh, whites at the really, whites man. and blacks at the really. blacks? Eh, not yeah. really. I, don't, yeah. well, I just find it hard to believe that they could actually get together like that. Yeah. Especially that and white trash guy. He was woo. Yeah. You know why? You would think the first fight, and I know a lot of stand-up comics have done this, that first fight, what's keeping him from just going, you fool. Yeah. You, f yeah, exactly. You mother, f you damn. Both legs cut off due to diabetes. Starting the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know? why you. That's why you get sickle cell anemia. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> God damn it! I'm tired of you. He uh oh, here goes they, Tracy. Does he refer to you as? Does he refer to her as? His little nigrette. Oh, man. His little nigglet. <laughs> Holy jeez. My little, you, my little nigglet. Coochie coo. No, he doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. I look. I look. Tracy's having Just a problem with look. Tracy. He, I have a big problem with him. Yeah. I don't, Tracy. Don't have a big problem. Wait, Tracy, if you were to go out with a black guy, would you go out with Patrice? Yes, she would. No. You better not say no. No. No? You really? You wouldn't go out with me? No. I'm not cute enough? No. <laughs> Your bubblehead husband's better looking than me. Um, yeah. You ever gone I, out I with? Have, you yeah, ever gone out I with have, black guys? He's the first white guy I've ever dated. Oh yeah. Yeah. Jeez. And what? What's the difference? Our electricity's turned on. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> you are I mean, you horrible, know what? man. She could have started at hip white guy first. <laughs> she went right to the opposite the, the white southern, guy. Not southern the southern guy. Color white. He, she went right to Jesus Christ. He looks like a, a kind of a skinhead. He's got the skinhead look to him. He's got yeah, the he short does. hair. He's a military guy, though. Yeah, but, you know, you get a white guy like that. You know, I thought at least you go Sicilian first or yeah, something. Yeah, try Wean it. yourself yeah, into that's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just to, I, it'd be cool. he come in. Okay, he's a regular white. Okay. But the, he was straight, you know. Mm. Boss, this is not your couch, right? Stop it. Am I looking at your gold oh, couch? It really stinks. Ooh. Tell me, your kid, look at... This is your grandmother's. Oh, and he redid everything, and that's what he has his daughter sleep on. Look at him. <laughs> they don't. Did they refurbish that? He has, an, that, he has an orange couch and a raspberry couch side by side. That looks exactly like my uh, old nanny's apartment, except the painting you have over here. She had one that you plugged in, and Venice lit up. <laughs> That's a waiting room. Oh, that's a sick That's bastard. a waiting room. Uh, that's a waiting room couch. At a funeral home. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that couch. It's gold, button tucked back. Oh. It should be covered in plastic. Does and he put have magazines grandma's. next to it? Got <laughs> <laughs> the old wood table. Look at you. Very yeah, classical guy. Go back on the armoire. Where'd uh, you buy this stuff from? He found it. Garage yeah. sales? No. Oh, I, I antique stores. Refurbish antiques. He'll go to that antiques TV show uh. with his armoire and they'll tell you it's worth nothing. <laughs> it's crap. You wasted your time hauling Look it. Look at him, he's yeah. pointing at stuff. He's all proud. Is that uh, the thing your TV's in, the armoire? Yeah. It looks like a... I thought it was some crappy wall unit you got at uh, has one of your, Ikea. Has one of your dates ever commented on the apartment? <laughs> Just saying, ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just curious yeah, if yeah. maybe you ever went on a date and a gal commented on yeah, your apartment yeah. a couple of weeks ago. What happened? Goes, I went out with this girl that I went to school with. She goes, a guy 44 shouldn't be living like this. <laughs> <laughs> she was trashing my apartment. And I was. Well, All that apartment is missing is a velvet tiger picture. <laughs> You just got your first apartment on your own now. You're 37. <laughs> what, I've been living on my own since I'm 18. You just got your first apartment. You're asking me, what do I get? A coffee Jesus maker and toilet paper? Up everybody's personal business. I know. Business. You just finally got your first apartment. You moved out of your house. Look at you. You're a bubble neck zero. <laughs> said bubble neck. I never claimed to be anything but a nothing, but at least I don't have photos of my apartment on you my can, website. You can because you never had one. <laughs> <laughs> People are horrid to each other. All right, Tracy, we're all cool here? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't pay attention to him. He's player hate. As a black lady, do you feel safer coming in the Lincoln Tunnel or the Holland? 
Oh, I get you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, Lincoln, I get it. <laughs> hey, did your husband go out with any black chicks before you? No. No? No. Wow, and again, no, like that, you'd though. think he would have started with somebody a little more mocha. He, he's shaking a little his head. Coffee, <laughs> little more coffee latte. You know what? They really, he's shaking his head. They, yes, they, they, behind her, though. Oh, really? They oh, really yeah. are completely... Completely opposite. Like, you know, it doesn't... You figure, okay, well, if I'm a star off a black girl, it's right. not going to be like... This, she's officially yeah. a black girl. And he's like a white... You know, he's... Mm -hmm. You know, they just... Okay, like, you, ha you went out with a black chick before uh, your wife? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. In the army. Uh -oh. I told you he never told me. Yeah. Where's the strangest place you've ever made Whoopi? Wait, she's a little pissed off. You never told her. Uh oh. You never told her. On my softball coach's porch. Oh, oh, you had some sex with her then. Yeah, we kind of broke, broke his railing. Broke the porch. Oh. Uh huh. Wait, they had sex on a porch and broke it. But what? What? What's the? What about this other black girl? Because it's obvious she wants to know about it. Oh, God, boy. She oh, knew Don't it. even start. You are horrible. You're a horrible, horrible human being. You should be shot and stomped in the town square. Let's hear about the other blind girl. Who yeah, who's the other? We never really went out and did much. We just, you know, yeah. hung out. In the, we lived, both lived in the same barracks building when I was in the Army. Oh, really? Yeah. Look oh. at how she's looking at you. Mm-hmm. Now she's giving you that look. <laughs> wow. Tracy, comment. Were you disappointed in his size as a white guy uh, when you? St <laughs> yeah, you no, packed him. You actually, him. to be honest, yeah. Um, there's mm. on either side. Yeah, it can go either way. All right, and and yeah, I guess he's uh, doing okay for you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, representing white man. You know, nice. White guys will eat the coochie, right? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Not this joke. Oh, God. He's been waiting a long yeah, time to use that joke on our show. He stays down there. Oh, boy. <laughs> not <laughs> that gag. Oh, oh boss. Oh. Only if I tried. Oh. When you wrote and that joke, that your furniture was new. <laughs> what, Tracy? What are you saying? Uh, since I found out that he dated somebody else, he's going to be down there a whole lot more. Now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, As if that's punishment. Oh, that just say, you know what George oh. says? Looks like a wallet. <laughs> 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 All right, that joke was uh, brand new, and his uh, armoire had provisions in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tracy and husband in Laura you. Ingalls' room. <laughs> thank you. Good luck, y'all. What an uplifting couple. You know, it really shows you there is hope in this world, isn't isn't it? Don't you think? Ask her if they have different fountains in the house. <laughs> Jeez, different bathtubs. <laughs> They get on the bus, they're like, all right, I'll see you when we get off. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'll just keep going. Uh. Jerry from Edison says, is that boss's apartment of the set from the Honeymooners? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, what's going on? It was on? nice actually having Tom and Helen in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Hello? Todd, what's up? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to uh, ask if... Uh I'd have gone with I'd have gone with Betty and Barney Hill. <laughs> wow. I wonder if that's this is Patrice Aubin. What, Todd? Suck. Patrice and Boss. What's that? What? I said I wonder if Patrice is pissed off twice over because not only is Norton funny, but he's also white. But I don't think Patrice has a problem with Norton. Yeah. No, he's one of my best friends. <laughs> really? Yeah. He, we're, we're... They, they're just not funny. I Ooh. thought Boss was unfunny, but Patrice ain't just racist. I don't know. He is really I mean, racist. That's the way he's across. <laughs> oh and where's the insult? Wait, wait sir. Do you go out, are, are you white or black? I'm, I'm white. Do you, do you go out with a black girl? No, not at all. Then what do you care? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, shut up. Go to a I'm Hillary meeting, that, liberal. I'm shut basically up. calling to say that Boss isn't funny, but, you know. It's, okay. You know, well, that goes without branded. saying, but It's still, not his don't... brand of comedy. <laughs> all right, what it is. Yeah, it's not his brand. <laughs> uh, he, he's racist. I like Why black I comedy just as much as I like white comedy. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Funny, you have no charisma at all. You really suck. And he just a lump of nothing sitting there? You really stink. 
You are not interested. I can hear people sleeping at home. You suck. <laughs> Bad radio. Bad radio. Work. All right, Todd. Bye, dum dum. Hey We're gonna take a break and uh, and we'll regroup here. Yeah, we'll go to the fu line. <laughs> Thanks for calling. And here's the Opie and Anthony fu line. Yeah, this is Bob from Elizabeth. But a big fu to all New England sports teams. Not only did your football team cheat in the playoffs to get into the Super Bowl, but you cheated in the last two seconds by not kicking off to the Rams. You are not pretenders to the throne. You are phonies on the throne. Then you have the nerve to chant, New York sucks in your parade. Remember this, New York at its worst is a billion times better than New England at its best. Once again, a big F you to all New England sports. Next message. Yeah, this is Ty from Cleveland. I want to leave a big you to the short yellow bus who I had to follow all the way to work. And I ended up being 15 minutes late and getting written up. you. Next message. Yeah, this is Jay from South Jersey. I want to give a big F you to my best friend's girlfriend, Val, for totally messing with his head. Hey, Val, why don't you do us all a favor? Take one of your daddy's guns and put it up to your head and pull the trigger. Go after yourself, you effing skank. I hope you die. Next message. Yeah, I'd like to give a big F you to my friend Tom, who still owes me 40 bucks and is turning off his cell phone and not answering his home phone like a little pussy. End of message. Opie and Anthony. At the Last Supper, they would have wiped their asses with the tablecloth. That's just what Christ wanted. The Opie and Anthony Show. Is this for Sean Sacker? Hang up in the stick. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. And I, Tracy has left the building. And she was pretty much puking the way, the whole way out the door. It's catching up to her. Like, some of the things that people eat around here uh, at times makes them instantly vomit. That's something that's going to stick with you a while. Maybe make you puke later. Can you get mm -hmm. about, like, w worms or anything? Can you get, like... Ah, who knows? Do that? people get worms anymore? Maybe in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> that whole 50s motif might <laughs> induce polio or... What other diseases they got I back then? I have a peek -a balloon following me around. <laughs> hey, uh, I think I got the vapors. <laughs> oh, then so we got somebody. Cool. Uh, Jay, what's up? Jay. Yo, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's, man. What's up, bro? You guys rock. Norton, you're the best. Listen, you tools. I almost crashed my friggin' car because of that. What? I had to pull... Dude, what? That Nokia thing. I thought my what? phone answered. I wasn't looking. I answered the call. Your phone's ringing? Well, you shouldn't be answering phones in the car. Yeah, don't answer your phone. What are you calling us for? Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, James, what's up? You guys get me every goddamn effing time with that. What? <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tool. <laughs> and the guy next to me is like, oh, it looks like God, what a dick. And I call back, call back from way back, ready? Yeah. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> a nerd. <laughs> a nerd. I love you guys. Get you those to, where call. is that? What is that? God, I want to hear that. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a nerd. I'm not a nerd. Uh, I want them off your station. station. It was that bitch calling up uh, when we were on up in uh, hey, Give me the archives, I'll, Austin. I'll find it. I know what he's talking God, about. God, I love that one. I'm not a prude. I'm not a nerd. And, and you know something? If you got to say that, you are. Yeah. <laughs> because she abso effing lootly was. Anthony, what's up? You guys are dicks. <laughs> Why? I don't I understand. Knew it was you. I knew you guys were making that... That noise, and I wouldn't look for my phone anyway. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. All right. You guys rock. I think I might have found it, Ant. Here, but I'm not a need. Try track uh, 15 there. <laughs> Some woman, and we get this all the time, just people that uh, don't appreciate the show, but then feel driven to call up our boss and like try to get us thrown off the air because they know better than uh, anyone else. Uh, yeah, to decide programming, yeah, like yeah, it's not. Yeah. If you li enjoy this show, eh, you know something. Someone knows better than you, and it should be removed from the airwaves because you're not capable of uh, making a decision by yourself. And they know better, and that's right. why I'm shutting my mouth for now on. Aunt. I that's right. I if I don't listen, I would never write a letter. I, I'd have to yeah. write them to myself all week long. You know what it is? <laughs> you stink. <laughs> you know what it is? You, you don't like a show yeah, or whatever. Do that. Take the you just turn out. the goddamn thing off. It's an appliance. It's yeah. a radio. It's an appliance. You're not held captive to your blender. If your blender doesn't make a yeah. daiquiri uh, the way uh, you like it, what do you do? Punch your you wife and tell her to do it better. <laughs> do it better, you bitch! Same thing, held captive by your appliance. <laughs> yeah. 
I am so angry with this toaster, I'm going to write a letter. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so this lady got a hold of our bosses. Yeah. This goes way back. A message from... Stu. February 10 at 6.57 p.m. Hello, Glenn. I'm sorry to do this to you. Please forward this on to your general manager. I'm wondering if someone's going to wait till someone goes in there and blows the head off of those pigs that work in your station. They are disgusting pigs. Their mothers must be slaps and whores in order for them to go on the ear and do the sh** that they do. I am very sick of not being able to get in my car and by accident the son of a bitch's station falls into your pig star f***ing station and I have to hear a goddamn 16 year old get on with this house and goddamn stock room. I have children who I'm trying to raise. Now, if you guys don't stop it, I'm going to turn my f***ing life into the cause of busting your asses. Now, please, Glenn, as you can see, I'm upset. I'm a professional person. I've got children. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a nerd. And you can take your right to speech and shove it up their asses. You won't stop it, because now you've gotten me very pissed. <laughs> now, please, forward. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Right to speech. See, she's willing to just take your right to speech. Take a constitutional right and shove it. Yeah. Brilliant, you stupid bitch. She still annoys me when I hear it to this day. And I am so glad we are back on the air in Boston because I'm sure this woman, this twat bitch C, was jumping for joy when we got booted from up there. Well, we're back. And I, I, I hope I hope you know this. And I hope your your kid that you were raising at the time OD'd on heroin while uh, a gay man was having backdoor sex with him and gave him AIDS. Frank, what's going on? <laughs> you dirty rat bastards. You had me looking all over the car. For what? What? For my cell phone. I'm going to kill you. Well, what's this? Why, what do we have to do with your cell phone? We're doing a radio oh, show. Oh, man. We're not calling anyone right now. Yeah, I knew it wasn't my phone vibrating. I figure it's my buddy's phone. He left it in the car over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> what are I you talking you. about with these cell phones? I happening? don't know. Nikki. Hey, my phone doesn't even ring like that, and I look at it. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> what phone is it? I don't know. There's some phone thing going on. All right. Uh, we found the... the, the it's not a pay phone. It's a portable, portable phone. phone. Ugh. Is that show still on the air? Probably yep. not. Is it, it is. Yeah, of course it is. It's awful. It's going to last. <laughs> it's stunk. It, it, if it was great, it would have been yanked off. Uh, uh, that 80s show, just garbage. Hey, speaking of shows, uh, uh, the job is on Comedy Central. Um, if you want to get caught up from the beginning. They're doing that. They're running it. I guess it's 11.30. 11.30 on Comedy Central? On Comedy Central. Check it out. My pal, Adam. My pal. Hey, uh, and I found the audio of the hissing cockroaches. Oh, listen to this. This Some is what went in the barrel of 55-gallon drums with the girls in it last time we did it. Something Sick. to look forward to. We do the, the next 55-gallon drum challenge on Friday. Listen to this, Patrice. This is the sound that these little cockroaches made. What is that? That's the noise. Those are something making noise? No, that isn't somebody doing that into a mic? No. no. Listen, listen, listen. Shh. How many was it? That was just one. That was one. We threw. And you hear the girls in the background? They're in the barrels going, what the hell's going and on? What the hell's going oh, on? Oh, God. Listen, listen more. Remember, girls, just yell. Wait, I'm going to whisper to this. Do the, uh, yeah, the, uh, whisper into the mic. They're hissing, hissing roaches. They're huge, like the ones you see on Indiana Jones. <laughs> God, that's horrible. Oh, I was getting so excited. It's horrible. Oh, my God. I can't take it. I give up. <laughs> Can you believe that, Patrice? Uh, is that great? Are this those... is what we're going to be doing Friday for three and a half hours. The R. Kelly video, that sounded like. Oh. And, and we... <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Another R. Kelly joke. <laughs> yeah, and we're up in the ante this year with the, you know, this is, oh, is yeah. going to just be a little appetizer oh. this year. And these girls qualify to be in the 55 gallon drum challenge this time around. Determined. Well, the girl that drank the milk is going to come yeah. back and be in the drum? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And we'll be dumping stuff like that in the drum. And the last girl uh, in the drum will win $2,000. Separate drums, of course. Mm -hmm. Want to hear a little more in it? Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> it rubs the lotion. 
<laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> oh, my God. What is she doing? She's hyperventilating. Okay. Anyone want do out? Wendy, do you wish to leave? No. Oh, my God, no. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Wendy, how are you? Huh? How are you? Oh, she's horrified. You all right? I can't even talk right now. Go to someone else. <laughs> all right, let's go to Jane. I hope these girls know what they're getting into on Friday. Yeah. That doesn't phase you, Patrice. You're used to growing up with roaches, huh? <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh, boss. <laughs> oh. Can you, uh... Can you put like mice and stuff in there? We uh, we don't got plans. You worry. Oh, you got play. You, you surprise. We don't want to. We don't. Yeah, of course it's all. It's got to be a surprise. Oh, yeah. It's all about the shock. I think this year we're gonna need some medical people on hand. Why you're putting Norton's blood in there? <laughs> oh. Jane and razor blades, and then we tip it over and roll it. All right, then we went to They're Jane with the dancing cockroach. Jane? <laughs> yeah. Jane's fine. <laughs> Well, see, the merciful thing is my goggles are so fogged, I don't even know what that was. Oh, good. Okay. And uh, Tabitha. And Tabitha. Tabitha. I just want to know what that was. <laughs> oh, my God. That's even more horrible. They don't even know what it is. Oh. Hissing don't, cockroaches. Please don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know anymore. Don't tell us till we get out, please. Really? Really. Like, don't tell us. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Don't tell him that they're. <laughs> you gotta tell him. Listen to the noise they make. Go ahead. Listen to the noise they make. <laughs> Rick didn't even want to touch it. No. All right. I'm over here now. I'm a hissing cockroach. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> And there you have it, a little taste. Yeah. On the last time we did the 55 gallon drum challenge. Aren't the screams great? That was the showstopper last okay. time, and uh, you know, being Ant and I, we got we got up the ante, and we have. Yeah. Now, did you throw more than one uh, roach in, in, in? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Threw a oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. All sorts of bugs. Oh, oh that guy hung up the phone that said they're uh, they're uh, taping a new show called That 30 Show, and the set is Voss's apartment. <laughs> 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 that 30 Show. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget, 55-gallon drum challenge Friday <laughs> yes. on the show. Paul, what's up? Yo. What's up, Paul? What's going on, man? You guys got any updates on the Kevin Meany situation, man? What's it, going on? It looks like Kevin Meany doesn't want to talk about the incident uh, no. that happened yesterday. We're trying to get a hold of him, and uh, so far, no phone call. He's a no crazy way. person. I actually just got off the phone with his agent again. He says he, he's been trying to reach him himself. He's not getting any answers. Oh, just, boy. Just uh -oh. I hear some trouble going on Kevin there. Kevin Meany was found lifeless in his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get a Chris Farley update there, I guess. You hear what happened know, there, boss? Dude, try to get him on, man. We're trying. We're trying everything. All, All right. right. Cool job, man. All right. Kevin All right, Meany, wait, sir. <laughs> Kevin Meany in, uh, at the airport. I, was reading, he, I glimpsed a Yeah, he, he was videotaping in the airport, and he was like, saying you can't do that in this day and age you know you, you, security things going on you don't want to videotape and i guess there was kind of uh trouble he was kind of getting loud and one of the national guardsmen come over with the m16s all loaded M Meany grabs the guy's m16 and with both hands and like starts pushing him is he out of, is he out of his mind yeah yes yeah, apparently he is, he is out of his mind i guess right. and then uh they wanted to pat search his wife and his wife says uh, i got nothing to hide and shows her opens up her shirt and uh, shows her bra, and uh, Kevin Meany just started getting loud and boisterous, and like I said, grabbed the guy's rifle, so uh, they arrested him, took him to jail. Mm. He's like a crazy, uh, we're going to lose the house. Oh, now we're going to lose the house. Then he did the we ought to work. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> that. said that earlier. Just, so so that you're like a crazy me. person. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. Oh, my Aunt Meg. Oh, Look God. what you're doing to your father and I. Oh, well, we're going to lose the house, and you're going to put an eye out with that rifle. Well. Josh. We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. Hey, Josh, what's going on today? Hello. Hey, Josh. Yeah, you, Look, you put the Willie flip. Nelson bandana on. Look. He turned around. He turned around. <laughs> Look, he put the Willie Nelson bandana on. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, you have that Miss Cleo clip? Uh, the, the, the prank call? Yeah, it's hilarious. All right, we're doing a little potpourri thing here right now. Yeah, sure, well, why not? Well, thank you, buddy. Hey, Josh, are you, you know what's hilarious is that Malcolm X stamp thing? 
the Malcolm X. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we can play that again. Did you ever hear that one? That's yeah. hilarious. Well, here's. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the Miss uh, the Miss Cleo prank. One yeah. One. <laughs> here's one of them. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Fine. Can I get your first name and your birth date, please? No. Who's calling? I'm Cleo. Can I please have your first name only and your birth date, please? No, I don't know who you are or why you're I'm Miss Cleo. You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't mean to sidetrack your question here, but who are all of these nosy people? Outside influences I'm seeing around you by the moon card. Oh, who told you to call? Cleo. I know, but why are you calling me? <laughs> I want you to really remember... The pill, all right? Remember what? I want you to really remember the pill, all right? But isn't this costing a lot of money? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing some forgetting, possibly. And I'm seeing a new baby in the next three months. <laughs> You're way off track. Oh, my goodness. Is there a gentleman in your life? No. Is he incarcerated? No. Did he used to play football when he was in high school? No. Yeah, that's the daddy. You have a good life now. You have the wrong person. Pardon me? You have the wrong person. Well, I know this doesn't make sense, but you know that things always happen for a reason. Don't you agree? I know, but this costs a fortune, this phone call. <laughs> Who is paid for this? You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? No. Yep. No, I'm not. Yep. Uh-uh. Yep. No. Yep. No. <laughs> yep. No. Yep. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Miss Cleo. Yeah, I like the other one as as well. Want to play the other one? Hey, that one with Hey Lady. <laughs> yeah, where we get all <laughs> where we got all the clips from. Why don't we play this one? We'll come back and we'll wrap up this mess and we'll play What Do We Learn? Very educational program today. I know it. You think? Yeah, I think so. A lot of things learned. Yeah. All right, we'll find out next, but as we go to break, uh, the other Miss Cleo prank we got. Okay, how you doing? Can I get your first name and your birth date, please? Pardon me? Good day to you, darling. Can I please have your first name only and your birth date, please? Who are you, who are you um, calling from? I'm Cleo. You're who? I'm Miss Cleo. Uh-uh. Cleo. No, you can't have this. Yep. Cleo. Yep. Bye-bye. Did you have a question? <laughs> Yeah. Caller? Yeah. All right, in what city are you calling me from? I beg your pardon? All right, in what city are you calling me from? Who are you? Who are you? I ain't calling you, lady. I'm Cleo. Who are you? Cleo. Cleo who? I'm Miss Cleo. Huh? All right, go ahead. You Cleo who? What well, you want to ask me, darling? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hello, how are you today? Why do you keep calling here? All right, in what city are you calling me from? Call, come up on my telephone bill. You going to be in a bunch of trouble. My Don't do it, all right? It would be a bad like move. No more. <laughs> You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? Look, what the hell the difference what I am? Don't call me with that job. Cause I don't I'm Cleo. Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> People asking me to ring the bell if they are right, and uh, you're indeed right. All right. Jerry for Medicine, I learned today we do our own thing now, like when men were dinosaurs. <laughs> when men were dinosaurs. You hear, you hear me? I hear me. I hear me. Uh, also, filming in black and white hides fat cells. Mm -hmm. It's not about what comes out of Monica's mouth. It's about what went in it. 
Right. Uh, he also learned the crowd audio is on pot 11. He also learned that R. Kelly should have stopped at 2. <laughs> Stop at the second chick. And Jerry learned Voss actually owns things older than his material. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wish you could see tomorrow night at Rascals with me, Patrice, and Norris. Rascals North and West Orange. Tomorrow oh. Night. Rascals North, Patrice O'Neill. Very funny. If you've never seen Patrice, he is a very funny man. Norris is still uh, Wait, doing on. the clubs, even with his lucrative uh, frosted mini wheat commercials. And, yeah. Oh. I don't want to pick up I Norris see all the new ones, though. Hold on, there, there was something that just went on there that you didn't pick up on it. What? Right? What? You basically uh, uh, called him out and said he wasn't funny today no, I on just show. said he was on stage. You basically funny. said, believe it or not, he's a funny guy and come see him at Rascal. Yeah. Well, people were calling him a racist, we, and that he's not a racist. We just he's did a, a radio guy. show where people could make that. Uh, oh, he's a grown right. man, John Tatro. I know, I'm, I'm just listening to, to this idiot. He's the worst plugger. He's the worst. Isn't everything. he horrible? He well, really sucks. I, I, but he goes, believe it or not, he's plugging yeah, a show with funny. no confidence. He's like, and then I, because you know the second act is a crazy, uh, dangerous Norris did. <laughs> yeah, what's the most up, dangerous buddy? hack I've ever met? He's like a fourth degree judo expert. I know. And I can't say, Jeff, you stink with your tight. Uh, your tight uh, dress coat. Yeah. If you want, if you want to put a stop to him, you just pour milk on him. Oh, and your stupid hairdo. I don't want him tossing me around. He's a he's a maniac. I know. Oh, he's, he's a, a judo champ. He's he'll out kill of you. Yeah, yeah, he'll kill you. Him choking somebody has a tattoo on his arm. That's what he is. <laughs> oh, he does have judo tattoos. Oh my Once God. you make the commitment to get the tattoos, you better pretty much know how to mm, kick some ass. Tight khakis. Voss has some awful. tattoos. Yeah, but mine aren't beating up people. Oh, you know. yeah. He's a mini wheat. Yeah, he's, Come on. he is a mini wheat. I see that there's like three different mini wheat commercials. Boss's now. tattoos are. Do you ever see his tattoos? Of the Jewish yeah. star with Which Chinese is letters next to it? No, there's, there's no Chinese letters next to it. Norris? No yeah. <laughs> I just want you to know that me, Opie. And my, pal, and my pal Anthony had nothing to do with the last two minutes of radio. Well, listen, minutes. you going to give me two minutes or is that you going to interrupt me? I didn't say anything mm -hmm. bad about you, stupid. Yes, you did. You this did. Is you said, the, yes, you did. The black is the voice of a mini wheat and uh, also wants to kick your ass, Rich Vaughn. I didn't say anything bad about Norris. All right, okay. am I going to have a chance here? Or Go what? ahead. Go ahead. All right. First of all, Patrice. He said you're a fourth degree open micer. <laughs> 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 Jeff, I'm joking, man. Look, don't come pushing my nose in my brain. He I'm called you around. the mo world's most dangerous hack. Yeah, I heard rerun. It don't matter. Where are you at, Toys R Us, buying some new material? No, I'm actually at the dentist asking what your bill is, you fuck tooth. We're going to go again? No, no, we're not. <laughs> All right, listen to me. It's, uh, no, we're not. Toys R Us for material? Well, he's props. He's a prop uh, act, you know. First, uh, how... I just had to help the audience. I can't get into this crap. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, I, it's just it's ridiculous. I did I do Ocean Township with him Friday night. We have a fight in the club. I know he killed though. He almost killed me. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm still <laughs> gonna kill. And Patrice, I I only met you twice. I thought we were right. You're gonna mock on me. I'm gonna flip your bamboo ass. Oh, and he will. I I, I met you more than twice, didn't I, Jeff? Why? Well, no, I met you. Uh, I met you. No, no. <laughs> Wait a minute, what does that mean? Look, Jeff? You're, you're a little flustered. A little yeah, scared yeah, now. You're, scared of Jeff. you're a little scared of Jeff. Oh, and, and for, for the audience, I just want to let you know, I have to. Patrice is funny. I'll give him that. Well, you guys are all working together. You no, Patrice is that. very, he is, he's very funny. No, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah, for the audience listening, Jeff That's is Jeff. dangerous. Give us, a, uh, give us a little line from the latest uh, Mini Week commercial. Are you serious? Yeah, kind of, because our audience, uh, these are national spots. Everyone knows him, so I just want everybody to go. Oh, that's the guy. We're pretty proud of Jeff Norris. Yeah, every yeah. time I see it, I go, "That's ah, Norris." Well, then how come Rick? How come Rick can't return a phone call? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I gotta get everything out in ten minutes. Oh, here. Look at this, Rick. Stop flipping the bird no, to, no, the, to, have, to the to the phone. He can't wanna, see. You don't want to piss off Kung Fu Carrot Top. I don't know why Rick is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu Carrot Top. <laughs> Jeff, I am not laughing. <laughs> Hope is not laughing. Hey, after Friday night, boss should be doing knock-knock jokes on the path train. Because <laughs> I blew him off the stage. Oh my God. Anybody who was at the show in Ocean Jeff. Township, phone in. Jeff, you had a great show that Friday. I'm not going to take it away from you, okay? Oh, oh don't, don't back out now. You, you did. Thank Why don't you. you do a mini wheat uh, commercial in an Archie Bunker voice? Come on. Come on, do a mini wheat. Don't Rick. have to escalate her. You stink, all right? Okay, And you Rick. better have some food ready for me and Patrice tomorrow night when we get there. Rich, if I stink. No.
No, I don't want to know. See, the I'm amazing not... thing is, you want to make fun of that Mini Week commercial. I, I can like now that. buy a 2002 Mercedes, unlike your 72 Ooh, Mercedes. That's true. Oh, and then you can pay me the 35 hey. you owe me from the cell phone you ruined when you threw me in the pool. <laughs> I paid you for that Ooh, phone already. You You're right. Uh, Ooh. You're right. I don't want to piss. I'm not pissing him off. Ooh. He's dangerous. He is. He's, he's, he's out of... No, I don't want to upset Rick either, but he should be turn a call. I wanted to come up there today to beat Boss on the air, but I don't want to just come by, you know? You know You know what it's like? You ever been with a girl and you're done with her, Jeff? Did he hang up on me? No, I didn't hang up on oh. you. Ooh. Jeff is really going to break your arms. No, I'm not. I'm not a violent guy. Kill you. He's not a violent guy. He threw me He's off gonna the chair. He's going to kill you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to pursue a career, and if you say anything, I will kill you. All right, I, I like Jeff Norris. <laughs> Jeff Norris, Jeff yeah. yeah. He is the uh, frosted side of the mini wheats. How about the it? Joe Pesci sounding uh, voice. We Thank wanted, you, sir. We want to hear a line from the commercial. Okay. I'm sweet and delicious, and boss is ugly and a Jew. How's that for a I don't, re commercial? I don't remember that <laughs> coming that's out of the, the unedited, That's on the South Park version. <laughs> hey, listen, Jeff. They killed boss? Thank God. Here's a, little, here's a little tip in the business. You're in the wrong business to be trashing Jews, okay? Listen to me. I'm just Ooh. helping you out. No, I'm just Go after the colors. Listen to me. Oh. Jesus. The colors. Boss, you, I got to hand it to you. You're, you're, you got some balls on you because Patrice is very big. Yeah, I know. He's going to catch me? Please. I'll throw a hammer go down. I'll just stop and eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, oh, oh, now, I want to come up and see you. Tell Rick to return a call. All right. We'll take care of that, Jeff. <laughs> really? And, uh, it's awful. Come by and see. <laughs> Wait, who, what happened? What I missed? Uh, Patrice is just staring at Rich because uh, uh, the joke was just okay, awful. not all killers. What did he say? Uh, 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 something not yeah, funny. Fat joke. Oh, nothing about a struggle or a dryer door. All right, Jeff. We'll see you soon, all right? See you later. Take care, Jeff. Right. Come the rascals. All right, we'll, we'll do, do that. that. Oh, we really don't want to piss him off. No, no, wow. no. Uh, yeah, that guy will F we you almost, up. We, I really pissed him. We had an argument the other night, and we're friends and everything, and he got really pissed off because he was drinking. And you know, you, you know, some people, you, if you have to fight, you'll fight them, right? Yeah, you know, you, you don't can't. fight You him. can't. He, he ruined a vacation for me once because I went to Caroline's before I was going on vacation, and uh, he was showing me how he, like, killed someone the night before. Mm -hmm. He goes, yeah, this guy was giving me crap. I, had a, I, I choked him out. And uh, he left him there on the sidewalk. Yeah. So he goes, let me let me show you what I did. I'm like, I, I'm not the guy you show it on because I'll break. I'm like a goddamn graham cracker. I'll yeah. just snap. He puts uh, his arm right by the elbow, the crook of the arm around my neck, and like squeezed for a split second. And I like everything started turning black for for that a split second. Then I'm on vacation. I wake up and I'm like, hey, what's? Oh my god, I can't talk. He's, he's I dangerous. can't talk. He, he like did something to my voice uh, box there. He's he, he doesn't know his own strength. And he gets excited like bam, when he's bam. playing. He's, he's like real, bam, he's bam. So happy when he's playing, he's dangerous. <laughs> he's just playing. He go bam, 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 and hey. the house moves. Hey, let me break your knee for fun. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, what did you learn on the show today? All right, today I learned Bill Clinton is well hung. Yep. Farts are only funny between three and seven. And Voss's apartment can be seen on eatabullet dot com. Uh, Later, guys. All right. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Let's go to Cheesesteak uh, Boy. Cheesesteak Boy. Hey, what's happening, fellas? Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> I learned that even white trash is better furniture than Voss. <laughs> He's <just> laughing at <laughs> White trash has better furniture than Voss. Okay. Oh. Norman Rolf. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> he remembers that. Man. Crinkle, crinkle Still from the city. I learned today Voss's furniture looks like it drifted ashore from the Titanic. Uh, today I learned, this is from Philly, I guess. Today I learned that fart sounds during Monica Lewinsky bits never funny. <laughs> Kevin from Cleveland, I learned today that we should vote for Connor because he knows how to keep him quiet. Mm -hmm. And Dave from Westchester learned that he has uh, AOL in his car. <laughs> and a doorbell. All right, we got to get these guys out of here. So what, you guys are playing tomorrow night at... Uh, yeah, Rassel's North and... Uh Say it West like you mean it, Rich. We'll be at Rassels Park, North Rich. in West Orange. I'm not good at plugging. Rassels North tomorrow, me, Norris, and Patrice tomorrow night. I'm not good at it. You can't be neat. you got to jump in there. It's April 18th, Town Hall. Yeah, but, uh, oh, man, Rassels look at that. Wait, tomorrow <laughs> night, man. Wait, but Voss <laughs> isn't playing Town Hall April 18th. No. Who's going to be there? Yeah, it's not even about me in there. Who and cares? Tickets are available? Yeah, Ticketmaster. Blech. I'm sorry, Rich. Go ahead. No. <laughs> go ahead. You know what? More people show up if you say you're, you're Voss's friend. Voss is a good friend of Norton's. Please come see us. <laughs> 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 so let's go to Mark. Mark, what did you learn today? Mark? Yeah, well, whatever. Hey, no matter what, 
You guys do funny. One moron listener calls up every time and says how he almost crashed into a pole. Yeah, we try It makes me want to crash. We try to blow off those calls now. Oh, it's so bad. All right. You hey, guys rock. Yeah, you guys do sir? a better job with that. <laughs> I want the guys after they crash. Uh, the Norris. Norris? Yes. Jeff Norris back. I just, I would, I'm, I'm sorry for calling back. I just would like to plug this with a little dignity so we don't have, like, yeah. retard show up. Hey, if you could snatch this joke out of my hand, you could have it. <laughs> Ross, all I have to do is buy a 1974 joke book. Oh. 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 Ladies, and gentlemen, oh. ladies and gentlemen of the ONA audience, if you want to see two good comics, come and see me and Patrice. I'm sorry, boss will be there, but... Hey, isn't uh, <laughs> Melissa there, too, I think? What's that? Isn't Melissa? I don't know if she's coming or not. I don't know. I think so. I well, think she's right. coming. <laughs> Who's Melissa? <laughs> what? <laughs> raging bull. <laughs> yeah. The girl who works for your station. She's both a beaten. Right. Oh, she will be there? All right, thank you. All right, wax on, wax off. Later. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, the hot Melissa from Philly? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she's not going to do comedy. She's no, just going to stand around looking good. Out, gives out, oh, did uh, you tell her listeners stuff. I'm a big black dude just in case? They, they, just in case they haven't figured that out yet, Patrice? Surprise. I learned that Patrice doesn't have the tape. Yeah. <sighs> Don't have it. Damn. He doesn't have the tape. I feel, I feel so good. I feel oh, like I we still have fun. Andy, happens. what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I learned that uh, when you cross a black person and a white person, you get a supermodel. <laughs> That's right. I <laughs> learned that today. Very good. Supermodel. I think we have time for one more. Jack, what's going on? Jack. Hello. Yo. You're on the radio, man. Yo, I learned that. Uh, we're on your side, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> and the he's, to go to HBO. he's quoting the tape, yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jack. No problem. And with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? All right. Don't forget, 55-gallon jump challenge goes down Friday yes. on the ONA show. Dude. It's going to be wild. <laughs> oh, you got you again. <laughs> you suck. Oh, um, oh, oh, one more. He'll get you every day.